Hi, I'm Pete DeFazio I'm with Hot Body Warehouse and today what we're doing is we're going to be installing a new replacement upper and lower grill. Uh, this is a billet grill set and we are putting it onto a 1981 Z28. So what we have is the grills from the car, the factory ones. We're going to show you how to remove the factory grills, how to install the billet grills, and then also how to modify the Z28 emblem so that it will fit onto your billet grill. Alright, so this is how the car comes. It's a 1981 model, so they're color coded to the body color. And on your upper grill, you have a total of five mounting holes. You have one here, one here, one at the dead center top, and then on the far side, upper and lower. Now these will be quarter inch or so head bolts, and all you're going to do is remove all, all five of them, and then the grill will come out towards you. So we have all our screws and bolts removed, and it's just going to slide out up and out towards you. The lower grill on your 8081Z is going to have three mounting holes, one located on the far right, one in the middle, and one on the far left. Once again, you're going to remove those bolts, and the lower grill will slide up and out and directly towards you. On your upper grill, what you're going to see is you have the grill on one. On the back side, there's a retainer plate, and we're going to show you how to remove that on one now. Wow, 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 wow. On your upper front grill, you have the Z28 logo. If you flip this grill over, what you'll find is on the back side, there's a retainer strap right here. You're going to find there's two spin nuts that hold this into place. Simply take those spin nuts off. The back plate will come off. And then the grill emblem will slip out and towards you. Like so. Now what we're going to be installing today is a new replacement upper and lower grill. And these are built. They're a nice unit, they're heavy, they're made of metal, and it's not a plastic job. On your factory 8081Z grill, the upper grill is now roughly $200, and the lower grill is not reproduced. So if you have damage to your upper grill, or missing your lower grill altogether, this is a great option for you. We offer these new, and they're sold as a set. Now you'll note, 78 and 79 and 80 and 81, while they look the same, have different mounting tab locations. So it's important to order them for the correct year of your time. Wow, 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 wow. This lower grill is going to sit a little more shallow than your factory one because it's not as thick. So you can scoot it all the way back in, or you can shim it out. And it's all on your personal preference and style. If you're going to shim it out, what you'll do is you'll use a series of washers onto your mounting screws or bolts, and that will space it out from the nose cone itself. And then that's what we're going to do in this case, because if, if we push it all the way in, you'll see here we show a paint line. So we're actually going to shim ours out just a notch, and right about there is what we're looking for for our final fit as far as appearance. We've got our lower grill mounted and on ours what we did is using some some small nuts is we actually back gap the lower grill so it sat a little farther out and as you can see on this side it covers that paint line. Now uh, one thing to note you have a cushion right behind this you have a, like a foam cushion which is the five mile an hour impact bar. Behind that you have the big metal bumper. So what you can do is you can also drill out your mounting holes on this and just run in a drill and you can install new mounting tabs if you want if your mounting tabs don't line up perfectly. This one's in. We're going to go ahead and we're going to move on to our upper. 
nicht bei der Berührung. You have a left upper and lower, a middle, and a right upper and lower. So we're going to go ahead um, in just a moment and install this. But before we do so, we want to make it so that we can install our Z28 emblem onto this. Set it right about there. Now what it is, is on the back side, you have this little flange here, which gives it its arch for the sock rail. We're going to take a grinder and a cutting wheel on our Dremel, and we're going to take that lip right off so that this will slide all the way up and in. Now what we have is we have a Dremel with a diamond tip uh, cutting wire wheel on it. And what we're going to be doing here is we're going to take this ridge right off of here. Got our safety goggles on so we don't go half blind. We're just going to go to a medium speed. Now you can see the two ridges that we've taken off. We're going to go on and do our first test fit and then we'll readjust as necessary. Now by taking that ridge off, the emblem will sit all the way down and in. And we're going to pull this back out, put our back strap on, and then go ahead and tighten it down. Then we'll install this upper grill onto the car. What we're going to do We've gone through the back side, we've taken down these nubs. We've also ground it down a little bit. Now this fits, and what you want to do here is just sort of line up where you want this to sit on the grill. We're going to go down one. We're going to go right for there. Once you've picked out your location for the emblem to sit, you're going to tip it over. Now you're going to take your backer plate and line it up, drop it all the way down, hold it tight, and then we have our spin nuts. We're going to install some new ones on this thing because it, it's about time for some new ones. Give me another round. And you just go through and tighten down. Now one thing you want to do, be careful is not to tighten them too tight and that's why I'm just doing these literally by hand. You don't want it to crack that stuff. You just want it nice and snug on there so the emblem can't turn in either direction. Now we have our Z28 emblem now installed. You see the back of the plate. We'll go ahead and mount this onto the car. Now with that Z28 emblem that we installed, you can of course adjust it on any of these things. You can put it on this side or the other side. I tried to centrally locate it basically where GM had it. That's something really different that stands out. So we're going to go ahead now and button down this upper grill. We've gone ahead and we've got our upper grill now installed on the car. Our lower grill's in and on. We have our emblem um, modified so it'll still uh, work on to these billet grills. Now something as far as going with your upper grill, one thing to note, this is a urethane nose cone and you have a fiberglass inner liner in behind it. So as you go to fit these screw holes up, in some cases, and it happened with us, everything didn't line up exactly. A lot of that can be caused by heat distortion, age of the unit, and if the car has ever had any damage. It can be done, and even if you don't get all five mountain screws in there, you're still going to sit nice and tight. We had to forego one of our mountain screws because of that. It's not an issue though. 
When it's installed on the car, it's going to sit tight onto the car and you don't have to worry about that going anywhere. Because this is a metal unit, it's going to provide a lot more rigidity than the factory plastic unit also. And it'll help to keep your nose cone from distorting even more as time goes on. The Bella Grills are a nice way to update the look of your car. Um, they're rather inexpensive. It's not a very expensive upgrade to do. And you can do it at home. It's going to take a little time to get fitted up. Um, but we modified it so we could use our Z emblem. And this 81 is on its way to becoming a really good looking car once again while adding a touch of class in the process. You can find Billet Grill and Z28 emblem on fbodywarehouse.com. We do have all of the products shown today available for sale and we do welcome your tech questions. We thank you for watching our videos and hope that we can further help you to work on your cars at home. Thank you. And leave on, leave on, because it's not worth getting your